So we spoke with Roger Martin earlier, and he, one of his main points was how uh, the venture capital system was broken, I believe he said in his words. The, you obviously take a different uh, point of view on that. So uh, w why, why is venture capital still a, a, a worthwhile investment, and um, how does that ecosystem uh, here in Canada need to, need to change to, to improve, to, to keep growing? Well, firms such as Apple and Cisco and Google and Microsoft all got started with venture capital. Uh, without them, probably never would have happened. Uh, Facebook, it's not a secret. Amgen, some of the great uh, worldwide innovation leaders, all needed venture capital. Um, to suggest that uh, there's too much of it or that it's broken ignores the fact that when it works, it is so important to the economy and to so many parts of our lives. Um, you know. Not every deal works out, not every investment uh, plays out like you had in mind, and that's part of investing, whether you're in the public markets, whether you're in the private markets, it, it doesn't matter. That's a normal cut and thrust of the uh, capitalist system. Um, you know, Canada needs to recognize that we've been living off our 19th century resource heritage for a long, long time, and it's going to run out eventually, and then we need to position ourselves for the 21st and 22nd century, and that requires capital to uh, be available for entrepreneurs who've got a good idea, who've got a technology they want to commercialize or an idea in our $12.5 billion a year R&D system in Canada that governments and universities are funding with taxpayers' dollars. That if you aren't able to commercialize that technology or those uh, research advancements and make companies, a um, bunch of that money was wasted. And uh, you know, if, if one-tenth of the money we invest in R&D every year in this country was available for venture capital, we would see a whole lot more jobs and a whole lot more innovation, and we'd have our own Facebook and Google. Speaking of which, uh, that sort of leads into the next question. We, you talked a little bit about uh, certain government programs that were scaled back or completely shut down and, and about other uh, programs where government funding worked. What do you think, that, what is the role of government in uh, the innovation economy or the innovation ecosystem, uh, in your opinion? The resource industry has uh, flow-through shares to access uh, capital for entrepreneurs who want to go and uh, find a mining opportunity or uh, oil and gas deal uh, that's available for entrepreneurs to go and tap retail investors. Uh, you know, technology companies don't have access to that, biotech companies don't have access to that, and guess what? We're a world leader in resource and oil and gas companies and go mining as a result. Um, you know, the system is stacked for success in that area. And guess what? We're lagging innovation because it's harder for entrepreneurs in that part of the economy to access capital. In 2005, uh, the Mikiti government uh, canceled labor-sponsored tax credit in Ontario, and Ontario's VC industry collapsed. A billion dollars of capital uh, evaporated over the next few years. And uh, the government then went to replace that um, system with uh, two different funds, an OVCF fund and an OETF fund, and uh, one's now out of money. The other one they canceled for two years because of budget uh, challenges. So now we actually in Ontario have nothing available to encourage uh, capital formation on the venture side. Um, nationally, Jim Flaherty has done a fantastic thing by announcing this $4 million envelope in the last budget to uh, help jumpstart uh, the ecosystem and give entrepreneurs a chance to raise capital. And he's going through consultations right now to uh, create some new vehicles to allow that to happen. Um, I think that should be phase one, uh, you know, just like the $4 billion auto uh, industry um, government, provincial and federal bailout of a few years ago worked. I think we have to have confidence that uh, the new economy is as important as the old economy and that, you know, Ontario's future and Canada's future cannot be in a shrinking auto industry. It's got to be about uh, people's brains and their know-how and to encourage risk-taking in our country. Um, we're okay at that. People are trying. If you have an entrepreneur with a great idea, um, you know there's 10 active funds in Canada today on the venture capital side, and the United States has 440 active US VC funds last year of their 935 in total. So, we clearly need to do better in that area. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, what would be? I mean, obviously the US is bigger uh, per capita, and and so some people would see that. That difference number in, in, in funds. There's, 11 to, oh, one, well, we, we there's 11 to 1 GDP ratio between our okay. GDP and their GDP. Um, US VCs invested 29.5 billion last year. Canadians attracted 1.5 billion of VC capital. So we are so far away. We're not even half 
11 to 1 ratio that we're used to.